friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Happy Halloween. So for today's video, I just wanted to do another kind of like pretty hello glam look, <laughs> if you will. I just wanted to do a really pretty blown out orangey yellow crease with a cut purple lid, add some glitter, black lip, that kind of thing. It's nothing that revolutionary, but I thought it would be fun. And yeah, I did my full face with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. All right, hello. It's time to do our makeup. Let's get glammed up for virtually no reason, but it'll be fun. I already put brow gel in my brows. I've just been using the Sigma one like usual, and I already primed my face with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I'm going to be using quite a bit of Milk Makeup in this video just because, like I've said a hundred times, Milk Makeup sent me a lovely PR package, and I've been obsessed with pretty much everything. Can't stop using it. I'm not required to use anything. I just, I can't stop. The stuff's good, what can I say? I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation first. I'm just gonna do a little swirl down my face. And I'm just gonna use my Juno & Co microfiber sponge to pounce and blend everything out. What are you guys up to? Today is, what day is it? October 16th. I'm filming this video, I'm filming a chatty video next, and then I'm just gonna edit. Then I'm going to the gym later, it's my off day from the salon. So yeah, just focusing on some filming and editing, all that good stuff. All right, now that my foundation's on, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm using my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. It's my number one favorite at the moment and has been for about, I don't know, a month or two now? I don't know how long I've been talking about this concealer. It's just so good. It's so creamy. I, I just love everything about it, honestly. All right, a few more cream products. I have my Milk Makeup Baked Bronzing Stick. That's just gonna go under my cheekbones like normal. And my nose, a little on my chin, that kind of that kind of stuff. I feel like I don't have anything to talk about. I, I don't know, I've just been doing my thing. I've had quite a few days where I don't have to film because I was so pre-filmed. So there's been a couple days I've just like done my makeup before work for no reason. Nothing revolutionary, I swear you guys aren't missing anything. Um, I can get ready so fast when I'm not filming, it's crazy. Like doing the whole shebang I can do in like 35 minutes, it's amazing. There's some days I only spend like 15-20 minutes and still get quite a lot done. But I promise you none of it's worth filming, it's nothing that revolutionary. But it's just been nice to just kind of watch a show, do my makeup. Because ordinarily, I film every time I do my makeup just so I stay on top of myself. Gonna take my Milk Makeup Swish Lip and Cheek Stick for some cream blush. Just gonna pop some on my beauty sponge. And start going to town. It's been nice just to have some mornings where I can kind of chill out. I don't know, it's been good. Not that I'm complaining at all about <laughs> filming a lot when it's not Halloween season. It's just been kind of nice, you know? It's just different, it's weird. I'm not used to having moments like that, you know, where I can just kind of do what I want. I'm going to take my Milk Makeup Blur setting powder and go ahead and set my face. I've really been liking this powder also, but I'm sure you guys know that because I've used it 500,000 times this month. There's just something about it, it just like goes into my skin so effortlessly. It doesn't ever look powdery or cakey on me and I don't know, it's like a magic powder. <laughs> All right, so now that my face is sufficiently set, let's go into some blush now. I plan on doing like an orangey purpley kind of makeup look, so thinking orange blush is probably gonna be the best way to go. I have my Likely Makeup Clown Blush Palette here and I'm gonna take the con contortion shade. Can't speak, it's the really pretty orange. I'm only dipping in just once because this, these blushes are so pigmented, you do not need a lot. Oh, but they're so pretty. I can't stop using them. I feel like if you're a blush lover, you would really enjoy this palette. It's just, I don't know, it's good. <laughs> As someone who loves blush with my entire heart, this is just quite a good blush palette. I just wanted to quickly tell you guys thanks again for being like so sweet to me during Halloween. These videos are definitely not like the most heavy hitters as far as views go, but I don't even care because I'm having so much fun. You guys are being so sweet. And honestly, I'm getting more, like a better response than I thought I would. I don't know, I thought literally nobody would care about my costume looks, but you guys are really sweet. And I even get some of you who are like, I don't even care about Halloween, but I'm still watching your videos. And I really appreciate you very much. You're very kind. 
You guys really seem to like my Powerpuff Girl one that I posted yesterday on the day that I'm now filming this. It'll have been a long time in the past though. But thanks, you guys are nice. I need some fake freckles now, so I'm gonna take my Freck Freckle product and I'm just gonna go heavy with the freckles. You guys know the drill by now. I'm just tapping some all around my face and then I'm gonna use my finger to tap them out so that they're softer and more natural looking. I was totally just blocking my face with the mirror. Oopsie. I am the best at this. Okay, I think I'm freckled enough. I went pretty hard with them today. I don't know what I want to highlight with. I think I want to do a little concoction of my Give Me Glow White Noise with my Milk Makeup Flex Highlight in the shade Iced. I did this little combination for a video that will be up later in the month. It's already been pre-filmed and I really liked the combo. So let's do it again. I really hope Milk comes out with more shades of this Flex Highlight because it's so pretty. I don't know how many shades they have now, but I think I own the lightest one and I would love an even wider one because this one's like a really soft gold color would like a nice white, pretty blinding highlight from them because I really like the formula of it. Just gonna pounce everything in once more with my beauty sponge. I feel like it just helps everything sink in. And now I've been using my setting spray from the recently deceased from Apocalyptic Beauty for like a month or two now. And I ordered two more with my store credit thanks to you guys using my code. Um, and I got the candy cord scented one. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Mmm. It smells good. I don't know if I would call it candy corn, but it's very like sweet, vanilla-y, marshmallow-y. Mm, I like it. That is my kind of scent. It's one of my favorite kinds of candles. It's a good smell. Um, and you can use my code Butte Bean if you want to save 15% off on Apocalyptic Beauty's sites. Just so you know. All right. Whew, pull my sleeves up. Let's work on the eyes, shall we? I think I'm gonna use mostly my Ace Beauté Flare palette for this look and I'm gonna dip into a different palette later for the purple. I think I want my crease to just go from really, really dark into like a darker orange into a lighter orange. That's kind of my plan. Let's see how it goes. Gonna first prime my eye with my Sigma eyeshadow base and Ignite. This little eyeshadow base has lasted me forever and I still have so much product left and I've been using it every single day for, I don't know, many months now. Alrighty, so I think I want to start with the darker orange. I'm going to take Hazelnut from the Flare palette and I just have this kind of smallish, medium-ish blending brush. And I'm going to take that directly in my outer corner and start running it through the crease. And then I'll use another shade to add depth in a second. But I think I want to get this shade laid down first because I do want this shade to stand out a lot. Going very fall, harvesty with this look. I don't know what I'm really going for. I just know I want purples and oranges together. And because purple and orange are both secondary colors on the color wheel, they don't really mesh the best together. You'll always have trouble with kind of purples mixing with greens or purples with oranges or oranges with greens. Similarly to how you'll have trouble with complementary colors, I have a whole series on color theory on my channel if you haven't checked it out yet. But because of that, I don't want to just blend orange and purple together because we might create mud, and I don't want that in this sense. Sometimes I like grungy, muddy tones. But today I want these colors to stay very bright and vibrant and just beautiful. I'm going to take some of this under that lower lash line, trying to keep it pretty close to my lashes. Now that that is down, I'm going to take this smaller brush. It's an e.l.f. pointed eye pencil brush, and I'm going to take the shade Acorn. It's like just a really dark gr brownish grayish kind of color. It's just going to work really well to deepen all this up. My mirror that I'm looking in is so dirty. I don't know how I was looking in that. And I don't have my contacts in, so I really can't see very well. <laughs> I can see okay. But I'm just taking this right in my crease. I'm not taking it as high as that shade I just had. This I just want to be the deep shade right in the crease because I am going to do a half cut crease because I'm Betty Jean and that's what I do around here. Obviously you could modify this to suit your own needs but I just love a half cut crease and that's a really good way to kind of pair contrasting colors that don't always blend the best but still have them next to each other because there doesn't have to be blending involved in a cut crease. Not with the actual cut at least. You want your crease to be blended but not where the lid and crease meet. 
Very cute. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Hazelnut, that first shade we used, and that same brush that I used with that shade first. And I'm just going to do a little bit of blending right on top of where those shades are meeting. Using very light pressure, holding the end of my brush so that I don't dig in too hard, and I'm only dipping into the pan very lightly when I dip back in. I don't want anything too harsh or heavy. And I'm still gonna go in with some more oranges to help blend this out. So I'm just trying to be nice and careful. Alrighty, now I'm gonna take this Spectrum B06. It's a little bit bigger than the one I used with Hazelnut, and I'm gonna take Pumpkin. Oh, I just love this palette so much. That's still my number one favorite. It's just something about the color story that really just tugs at my heart. It's colorful and grungy and all wrapped into one beautiful palette, and I just love Ace Butte's formula. I truly can't understand how people don't like it. It's so evenly divided. I feel like people either love it or hate it, and I just don't get it. It's so good. I'm obviously not calling you a liar if you don't like it. We all have our own preferences. It's just so hard for me to believe. Alrighty, and finally I want to take Cider, this really pretty mustardy yellow color, and I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics number 10 brush. It's just a bigger fluffy brush. I just want to use this right around the very outside edges of this just to add even more help and blend with all the exterior. And I just really like the way a yellow halo kind of looks on eye looks when it's appropriate. I feel like yellow truly just goes with everything in my mind. It looks cute with reds, oranges, more yellows, greens, blues, purples, pinks, turquoise, black, everything. I love yellow. It's my favorite color. Just gonna take that brush I used with Hazelnut No Additional Product, just to add a little bit of smudginess out here. I feel like it just needs it. I feel like going back a million times between your different brushes just helps. <laughs> I feel like I'm never done on the first, first attempt at blending. I like to go back a hundred times. I'm liking the vibe of that. It's very, very not what I normally do because I don't do very warm, orangey, blown out things like this, but this time of year I really like it. I don't know what to say. So for my half cut crease, I'm going to start with my MBA Cosmetics Glitter Primer because I've mentioned before I like this glitter primer for my cut creases now because it kind of removes my makeup a little bit and I just think that's cool. But the NYX Glitter Primer works just fine. I still have and love that one to death. I have this little flat brush. It's from Spectrum. It's an A16 going to just rub some of this glitter primer across the lid and just start kind of forming that cut crease to try to remove some of this eyeshadow, which is actually really helpful when you're doing contrasting looks to try to remove the makeup on the lid as much as possible or just heavily cover it up with concealer because you don't, again, I don't want things to muddy out. I want this lid to pop and be nice and bright to go with our crease action. I'm gonna dip into my Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku palette, and I'm gonna take this purple down here. It's such a pretty, like, multi-chrome shade. I love it, and I've been wanting to use it again, and I just think it'll be great for this look because it's just so impactful. I'm gonna just take it on that exact same brush and start popping that across the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. I'm just really making sure to stay nice and precise right on this cut crease. Just taking it nice and slow. We aren't in a rush here today. Now I'm gonna take the brush that I used with that dark acorn shade, no additional product, just to smudge out here. Now I feel like I want a little bit more pumpkin in my crease, that brighter orange. So I'm gonna take the brush I used with it, that Spectrum one, just to add a little bit more out here. I feel like now that the cut crease is on, it was starting to look a little too brown, and I still want it to look very orange out here. Mm-hmm. That's looking so much better. I'm just going to take a little bit more cider, just to help blend, especially down here. I really like my lower lash line to be super blunt, like blown out. I think it looks really pretty. I am quite a fan of that. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to highlight my inner corner with my Milk Makeup Flex Highlight, like I did on my cheeks, but I'm not going to mix it with anything, I'm just going to do it by itself. I think this soft gold just looks really pretty with these kind of tones. Alright, I don't know what I want in my waterline just yet, and I also know I do want to use some glitter, but I think I want to catch the other eye up to speed first, and I'll throw something in my waterline and we will catch up. Alright, I am back. I ended up throwing the glitzy gold pencil from NYX in my waterline, just because I didn't feel like I had a purple that totally went with my purple, and I don't really have like a boom orange either. 
So I just went with gold, and I think it looks cute. So for glitter, I ordered a new glitter from Apocalyptic Beauty. This is called Cauldron, and it just has lots of different oranges. It has little skull and crossbones. I might try to avoid those because I don't really want that on my eyes today, but I like all these different little orange shades, pieces, whatever. I feel like I want to try to put them right here and a little bit right here. That's kind of my vibe, so it's gonna be kind of what I try to go with. Ooh, I'm spilling it everywhere, of course. Oh, it's so cute. All right, I have this random Urban Decay brush from like some Vice palette a million years ago that I just don't care about, so I don't mind getting glitter and glue all over it. Taking my NYX glitter primer, because I prefer this one for sticking glitter on. Just gonna pop a little of that glue right here and a little right here. I want to try to avoid my lid I'm aiming for just like that little cut crease area. And I'll take my tweezers in a second and kind of move things around if I don't like something. But for now, I'm just trying to simply just place some little cuties on my face. <laughs> Be careful when working with chunky glitters. Glitters in and of itself, like chunky glitters like this, are just not eye safe. Although I'm not really scared of these because these ones are all round that I can see in this specific glitter. So I feel like these ones probably wouldn't hurt you if you got it in your eye. But also just try not to get it in your eye. Glitter is always optional. I'm gonna get rid of one of these big balls and pop it here. That's kind of what I want. I know it's kind of like odd just to have like glitter kind of right there, but I like it. I'm about to put on big lashes too, so that helps just balance things out because I'll have heaviness here and heaviness on the interior. I think it's cute. I'm going to replicate it, put on my Likely Makeup Bat Wings lashes, find something to throw on my lips, and we will finish up. All right, so this is it. This is my final look, my final form. I think it's really cute. I really like the way the glitter looks, especially now that my lashes are on. It just all flows together so nicely, and it just looks so dramatic and big, and I, I just love it. My lips are the Cricut Liquid Lipstick from Menagerie Cosmetics. I thought a black lip would just be fun with this, and I feel like for most people, black lipstick is daunting to wear, and I feel like Halloween time is a good time to kind of play with it without you feeling like you're too out of place. But I'd be fine wearing this in the middle of March, so do whatever you feel is right. An orange lip, a purple lip, a nude lip, you do you. I really like this look, and I hope you guys do too. If you made it to the end, leave a pumpkin emoji. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte and follow me there. I post every single day, and don't forget to subscribe. I've been posting every day in October for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.